Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Dusty trail up from Texas, and I don't care to ride into Dodge. So here you are, Ned. Don't you kill it. Come up the same trail you did, I'm just as dry. Well, yeah, I hope I never see another more phone steer. I will settle down and be a bartender. Something easy like that. Sure, and by tomorrow you'll wish you was back at trailing cattle. You wish you'd never seen Dodge. My turn in that bottle. By tomorrow, maybe there won't be no Dodge. Maybe we'll have torn that plum apart. Oh, hey, hey, I hear the cougar howling at night. Look yonder, there's a long branch. Let's start with this. Yeah, tell them we're here, Zach. Show them how we're living, Texas. Huh? Yeah, we yeah. You're welcome here, but don't get any notions about shooting up this town. Who are you, anyway? I'm a U.S. Marshal. I'll take your gun until you're sober enough to carry it. Nobody again. takes my gun. Then you better ride right back to camp. Don't let them buffalo you, Zach. <laughs> you won't. Mister, I'm staying. Me and my gun. You'll be Marshal for breakfast if you try to stop me. Huh? I warned you. I'm going to kill you for doing that to him. Another drunken cowboy with more fire than sense. Well, now, you had to kill him. Yeah. Oh. oh. Take his gun, Chester. Oh. Yeah, no, don't, don't shoot me now. No, no, nobody ain't going to shoot you, mister. Oh, come on, get on your feet. Come on. Up, up. Come on. Uh, ooh. Oh, oh, mister, you busted my head. You'll be all right. But your friend's dead. He tried to shoot me. You killed him? To keep him from killing me. There'd be trouble about this, Marshal. Now, don't you get anything like that started. Oh, no, not me. His brother, Howard Bueller. He's out the camp. I know him, Marshal. He'll come after you. All right, I'll be here. No, it won't be like that. Howard wouldn't face a gunfighter. He'll shoot you in the back. Or out of an alley at night. I know him, Marshal. It'll happen. You want to bury your friend here or you want to take him back to camp? I'll take him back to camp. <laughs> You'd think a restaurant like Delmonico's could at least make good coffee. You can miss the food's back. You know, I never saw a woman yet who didn't find fault with everybody's cooking but her own. Hmm. Women have more taste than men, that's all. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Man. Yeah. That man you had to shoot today, his brother. Is that what's on your mind? Yeah, I suppose so, kidding. I've been thinking. You've never seen him. 
If he does ride into town, you won't be able to recognize him, will you? Yeah, let's just say that he'll probably be the first man who tries to shoot me in the back. Hmm. Matt? Well, don't worry about it. It's been tried before. And I'm still around. Front Street's not very crowded tonight. Well, it's kind of early, yeah. Hey, what am I getting? What is it? That man leaning against the post up there. Now, wait till he turns his head. I want to get a look at him. Someone you're after, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's probably somebody who's after me, Kitty. You stay here. Yeah, all right, Matt. For me, Bulow. What? Your name is Bulow, isn't it? I bet you're the marshal. That's right. What are your plans, Bulow? Kill you? My own way? I thought so. Well, I'll take your gun now. Take it. All right. That won't stop me. You just got another gun that shoot me in the back. Is that it? Any way I can. Look, Bulow, your brother tried to kill me, and he'd have done it if I hadn't stopped him. There ain't nobody kills a Bulow and gets by with it. I don't care what he done. Maybe you need a few days to think it over. I ain't got a few days. You have now. You're going to jail for a while. Oh, no, I ain't done nothing. Turn around and get moving. <laughs> Marshal? Yeah, what can I do for you? My name's Will Jacklin. I'm boss of Drag our Herd. We're holding up river. Come for Howard Bulow. Oh. My seat. Well, turn him loose. I can't turn him loose. He didn't do a thing last night. He was just standing on the street the way I heard him. He threatened to shoot me in the back, and he says he's still going to. You killed his brother, didn't you? In self-defense, yeah. It don't matter. You have to look out for yourself. But none of my men's gonna lay in a Kansas jail when he ain't done nothing. None of your men's gonna walk around free waiting to put a bullet in my back, either. <laughs> look, Jacqueline, you let Bulo cool off here a day or two. You'll get over it, maybe. I got eight men outside, Marshal, and I got ten more with the Catholic camp. We come a long way... We had a hard drive. We're all Texans, and no Dodge City Marshal's gonna rub our nose in dirt. Nobody's trying to, Jacqueline. I want Bulow out of here. I'll turn him over to you when you've sold your herd and are headed back to Texas. I want him now. Not as long as he's set on killing me. Eighteen men I got, Marshal, and I count myself. And fourteen of us will be back tonight. We'll get him. Don't you try it. Well, we'll do it. And after we get him, we'll really shoot your town up. You people have mistreated the last Texas cowboy you're going to. Tonight, Marshal. <laughs> Thought. Well, you better start thinking, Marshal. I heard Jackson right in here this morning. 
He means what he says, that man. And what did he say? Well, they're going to destroy Dodge, that's what. Him and all those wild Texans he's got. You've got to let that man out of jail, Marshal, right away. Mr. Riesling, the man I got in jail aims to shoot me from ambush if I turn him away. I can't help that, Marshal. Well, I can. But he's staying where he is till he comes to his senses. Well, what about the rest of us? It's all right for you to save your own skin, but what about us? Those cowboys don't shoot up the town. Maybe burn my hotel down. Now, don't get all excited, Mr. Riesling. It won't help matters any. Now, why don't you just forget about it? Jacqueline may never show up at all. That's what I come to tell you. Oh, what? Frank Paris rode by the drag our camp a little while ago, and he says those men were just about to leave for Dodge. That means they'll be here any minute. Now, what are you going to do? You don't have to get mixed up in this, you know, Chester. I know. I'll take me a shotgun, too. Okay. Now, let's wait outside. All right. About ten feet apart, huh? All right. Here they come, Mr. Dillon. All of them. Yeah. Hello, Marshal. You're acting like a fool, Jacqueline. We'll see about that. You make trouble here and the law will be after you wherever you go. I don't worry none about no law. I was raised plum free. We all were. And so you were. But that doesn't leave you free to form a mob or raid a jail or shoot up a town. What's the matter with you men anyway? What's the matter with you? You put an innocent man in jail. Any man who wants to kill somebody isn't very innocent, Jacqueline. Do you have to wait till he does it? I don't have to wait for nothing. Marshal, we've come for Bulo. Let them have him, Marshal. Turn him loose. Hurry. You keep out of this, Riesel. Uh, he's right, Marshal. You let him go peaceable, we'll leave town. You make us fight, we'll go right on fighting. Well, you heard him. He means it. Now, you do it. Riesel, now. shut up. Jacqueline, this is a shotgun I'm holding. The first move you or any one of your men make, I'll cut you in two with it. Maybe. We're too many. You'll die, and so will your friend there. Is that right, man? Texas men ain't afraid to die, Marshal. But they ain't gonna get trumped on. Now, for the last time, turn him loose. So he can shoot me in the back the first chance he gets... That's your lookout. I'm through talking, Marshal. Get set, man. And when you finish him, go rip this town wide open. Do it for me. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Chester. Yes, sir. Go get Bulo. All right, sir. Here you is. You're ahead, Marshal. You and I'd have both been dead if you haven't. I'm not doing it because of you or me, Jacqueline. I'm doing it because of too many other men who would have died. Well, it don't matter as long as you turn in. All right, bring him over here, Chester. You won't. You go on back to camp, and you try to do some thinking while you're there. Sure, Marshal. You know what I'll be thinking about? You. Sitting next to open windows. Walking down a dark street. I'm going to kill you yet. kind of a life he'd led, Bulow was a primitive man. Somewhere he'd heard about revenge, a simple idea, an eye for an eye, and he'd taken it to heart. 
I realize now that there was no dealing with him. The man was incapable of change, and Jacqueline wasn't much better. But I forgot about Jacqueline. It was Bulow who would be back. Still, two days went by, and there was no sign of him. There's a couple of chairs, Mr. Dillon. Let's sit down there. Hmm? All right, Chester. Nobody can shoot you from here. Unless it comes up in front. Yeah, it's not very likely with Bulow. Mm-hmm. Well, then what's the matter with men like him anyway? Oh, I don't know, Chester. Too rough a life, maybe the war, a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, you under that Miss Kitty come up street? Yeah. Well, what's she walking so fast for? Look. I don't know. Man, I've been looking for you everywhere. The trouble? Yeah, Bulow's back. Have you seen it? No, but Sam did. Said he stopped in for a drink a little while ago. Well, is he still there? He left, but he told Sam he's got a room at the Dodge house. He might be there. Well, I'd like to find him before he finds me. Be careful, man. You can come along, too, Chester. Four eyes are better than two. Thanks, Kitty. What do you do if we find him, Mr. Dillon? Well, there's no good talking to him anymore. Maybe I can scare him out of it somehow. Sure do hope so. Hotel looks pretty empty from here, don't it? I'm looking for Bulow. Is he here? I, I don't want any shit. I want to know if he's here, Riesling. He went upstairs a few minutes ago, Marshal. All right, which room? No, Marshal. On the landing, Mr. Dillon! Uh, I miss it. But it was too late. He was already dying. Well, I sure am glad. Yeah. And he died about as uselessly as a man could, though. For no reason at all. For no reason at all. Join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke.